Certainly, direction is more important than speed. If you run too forward, it's easy to get lost. It's most important to objectively grasp our location. I've been doing three tutorials on Geometry Nose text animation. While planning a new tutorial, I felt I needed to organize a little bit of text animation so far. In order to properly utilize the power of procedural text animation, overall, it is most important to check how it is driven and where to be careful. I'm going to mix the contents of the three geometry nodes text animation tutorials. In the procedural text animation section, the blender seems to be ahead of any other tool. I hope we can explore wider possibilities together. Apply geometry nodes to the default cube objects. We start with the string to curve node. Disconnect the string socket from the geometry of the group input. Connect to a new input socket. Now, input the string input field and add a field curve node to check the text. By adding a set material node, we'll color the text black. Nodes related to rendering will be sorted separately. The basic settings for text animation are now complete. The first is the effect in which the simplest letters are written. It can be implemented simply as a slice string node. And here is the position animation. Add a set position node, add an index node and connect it to the selection socket. Sequential offset is possible by adding a math node after offsetting the desired position. We can try setting it to sign mode by adding another math node. Scale animation is done by putting a scale instance node at the position of the set position node. The same goes for rotation animation. It is also possible to offset the position and scale at the same time. We can even add rotation. Let's apply it a little more this time. A method of animating text by creating a curve and moving the curve points. First, add a curve line node to control the movement. Let's set the length by 7 on the x-axis. Add a resample curve node to increase the control points. Count is set to 14 according to the numbers of characters, letters. We'll control the position of the points of the curve, so we add a set position node. Since letters are used as instances, an instance on points node is added. It connects nodes. Likewise, animation is possible via the offset value of the set position node. Add and connect index and vector math nodes. I 
I only use the sine function, but if you are good at math, you can add a few more nodes, you will be able to create infinite movements. This time, we will apply it a little more. There are texts that move along the path. First, after add a curve object, click the Geometry Nodes tab. Click the New button to create a new node tree. In order to work while looking at the curve that indicates the path, add a Join Geometry node. Add a String to Curve node to enter text. Now, add the Instance on Points node to arrange the text on the curve. Connect the text to the Instance socket. Connect once more to the Join Geometry node to continue checking the shape of the curve. To render the text, add a Fill Curve node and coat it with blank material through the Set Material node. Now, we can see material applied in rendered view. The texts are arranged on the curve. Add the Resample Curve node and adjust the count. Connect the Curve Tangent node and add the Align Euler to Vector node to the rotation socket of the Instance on Points node to arrange the text according to the curve tangent. The arrangement along the curve is over. There is an animation process left. To move a single object along the path of curve, we can use the set position node and the sample curve node. However, text animation is more difficult because it has to move by individual text, not by whole. Originally, the positions of each instance should be moved along with the every point information of the curve but I haven't found the eject formula. So, I do animation in a way that offsets the index number, add an index node and a math node to connect to the instance index socket. If I adjust the value number, we can get the effect of moving text. Add or subtract works the same way, only different directions of the slider. The problem is that the texts are repeated. This problem is caused by offsetting the index of the object. How can you solve this problem? I solved it by entering empty text through the spacebar. So far, we have looked at how to implement text animation that follows the path through the geometry nodes. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and select the default cube object and click the geometry nodes tab. Click the new button to create a new geometry node tree. Group input represents the default cube object. Disconnect because there is nothing special to use for text animation. Add a string to curves node. Write down what Einstein said. The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. If we connect the string to curves node to the output node, we can see the text. By default, the geometry nodes generate characters with a curve. 
So to view the characters, add a fill curve node and a send material node to code black. We can see the applied materials through the rendered view. The location change of each of these characters is performed using geometry proximity nodes. Add a cube object to be as the proximity target object. Drag to an existing node tree and add a geometry proximity node. Connect to the target circuit. Add a set position node. Since you will move to the y axis, add a vector math node and set mode to multiply. Connect the distance socket of the proximity node to vector socket and vector socket to offset socket of the set position node. Text now will be controlled through proximity objects. Now add a few nodes to increase predictability and control what we want. Add a map range node. And we can implement the desired expression by editing the proximity object through the editing mode. Adding a float curve node gives us a more diverse effects. Various adjustable options make it easy to obtain location offset animations for individual characters. Nodes of this degree can be expressed to this extent. Those who are good at math will be able to express creatively through a combination of more diverse math nodes. That's all for this video. Thank you for all your time.